Not quite the right height, so I'll just hold it. Thank you so much. It's so great to see you here at our concert this evening. Um, we certainly are, are delighted to have such a wonderful crowd. If you're just joining us, there are a few empty seats uh, scattered around. If, if you'd like to help yourself, don't feel that you're interrupting us right now. This would be a great time to do that. This is our sixth grade band, and if you were here for their fifth grade first concert, you know they've come quite a ways. They're doing some really, really great work. That piece was called A Christmas Proclamation, and it had several different uh, holiday tunes in there that you may have recognized. Now we're going to invite out to the stage uh, our student teacher this semester. She is just finishing up her 16th week of student teaching out of 16 weeks, so she's down to her last three days of student teaching from Central Michigan University, and at this time I'd like to welcome to the stage Ms. Shelby Myers. For this next song, and for our final song with this group, I would like to bring out a special guest. This special guest is one of Santa's helpers, and he's just a little bit grumpy, but he's going to help us present this song called Diary of a Grumpy Elf.
Test. Dear Diary, it's me, Leon. That's Noel spelled backwards. It's the week before Christmas, and today was my first day on the job. Today's temperature reached negative 25 degrees, and the other elves tell me that Santa gets really grumpy during this type of heat wave. Dear Diary, today was my second day on the job. We made wooden soldiers. Instead of, instead of marching in step, they broke ranks, drew muskets, and then began to fight. Dear Diary, today was day three working for Mr. C, and I was given the honor of decorating the castle. Honor my foot. I never want to see another bow of holly as long as I live. Dear Diary, it's day four and the new reindeer harness has arrived. Well, they arrived defective. Instead of sleigh bells, they came with cowbells. Dear Diary, it's finally Christmas Eve and the work is finally done. Despite the troubles, I'm very lucky to be a Christmas elf. Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night.
One of the things that seventh graders have the opportunity to do that they have not been able to do so far up until actually this past weekend is participate in what's called Solo and Ensemble Festival. And Solo and Ensemble Festival is when um, an individual or a group of individuals go perform for an adjudicator, which is a fancy name for a judge, who rates the students on their performance on a scale of one to five, with one being a superior or, or the highest rating performance, all the way down to five. Uh, students that participate and earn a one or a two receive medals for their performance as well. And I'm very, very happy to introduce to you many, many students who participated this year in the solo and ensemble competition, all of whom did exceptionally well, some of whom decided to wear their hardware today, and some who didn't, and that's fine. But if you participated this weekend at the solo and ensemble festival, could you please stand? Thank you. All said, between our 7th and our 8th graders, we had over 30 students, uh, I think it was about 35 students actually that participated. And this is something that they worked extra on. They stayed after school. We did a little bit of in-school practice, but most of this was on their own. And then this past weekend, uh, their parents were kind enough to drive them down to Ovid Elsie High School where they performed. So very, very proud of them and for the 8th graders for their performance. Um, at this time, now I'm going to turn things back over to Ms. Myers, who will be conducting the final two pieces with the 7th grade. Now is it? There it is. <laughs> all right, thank you all so much for being here tonight to celebrate all the holidays and all the hard work that the students have been putting in the past few months here. There is one more thing that we are celebrating tonight other than the holiday season. We have a birthday of a special student in the seventh grade band, so Izzy Messer, it's her birthday. 
And I think we should all celebrate by singing our happy birthday. All right. So on the count of three, let's all sing our happy birthday. One, two, three. Happy All right, and the seventh grade band has one more piece we'd like to perform for you, Jingle Bells, with a little bit of a twist. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. We are certain that winter has arrived when we hear the familiar sound of jingle bells. It is a traditional song that everybody loves to sing. The band has been wondering how this popular melody might sound in other parts of the world. So come with us as we travel musically from country to country with jingle bells around the world. Please place all electronic devices on airplane mode and relax as we begin to taxi across the runway in preparation for our international adventure. In the event of an emergency, your seat probably should not be used as a flotation device. If a mask falls from the ceiling, please do not use it. It's probably left over from the pandemic. But first, to Germany and a German band. Sure, we could have traveled down the road to Frankenmuth, but let's get the real thing. I hear that German food is the worst. That's spelled W-U-R-S. That's a good joke. <laughs> Anybody want a polka? Now, let's travel to China for the sound of jingle bells with an oriental touch as we stroll down the Great Wall of China toward the forbidden city of Beijing. Our next stop is the world's largest country, Russia. It is also the birthplace of Peter Tchaikovsky, the composer of the Nutcracker Suite. In keeping with the holiday spirit, let us imagine the people dancing in their courtyards to their very own version of Jingle Bells. Our journey now takes us to Mexico. Did you know there are nearly 70 different languages spoken in this country? Let's hear the way jingle bells might be played south of the border, of course, in the key of C.
Ladies and gentlemen, please secure your tray tables and return your seats to the upright position. Then again, if your seat is leaning back, you've probably broken it and we should talk after the concert. We are preparing now to land after our very quick trip around the world, and we're now ready to hear Jingle Bells the way we know it best, the American style. As always, thank you for flying Mustang Airlines. As we're transitioning from our seventh to our eighth grade band, I'd like to take this time uh, to, to share a little bit of information with you. Uh, first of all, obviously you're here, so you knew we had our sixth, seventh, and eighth grade concert right now. At 7.30, we will be having our beginning band with their very first concert shared with the high school. So those of you that were planning on catching both performances, that will begin at 7.30 p.m. this evening. Those of you that are headed home after this, uh, I'm sure that they would appreciate your parking spots if you're not planning on staying. So feel free uh, to take your child and, and go celebrate with them as you see fit. I would also like to welcome our interim superintendent, uh, Ms. Sarah Gland, to come forward to the stage because we're going to have her uh, do the drawing for our fruit sale. Now our students uh, were very, very active in selling our fruit this year. We sold nearly a thousand boxes of fruit, which is a fantastic number of fruit. Uh, I will think otherwise on Tuesday morning next week after I've lifted all of that Monday. However, uh, those of you that are coming to pick up your child's fruit, your orders, we will have your order forms that you turned in, and then we will have the orders ready for you as well. This will be next Monday from 3 o'clock to 7 o'clock right here in the auditorium lobby. So you can pull right up by the doors, and, and we can load your cars there. But for each student that participated that sold at least five boxes of fruit, their name was entered in a drawing. And we are going to do two drawings right now for $50 each. It could end up being the same child twice if their name's in there more than once. But we're going to have Mrs. Gland draw so that if the wrong name is drawn, it's not my fault. Bailey Finney. Bailey Finney. <laughs> Bailey Finney. Bailey may need an escort to her car. <laughs> and we have one more drawing. And I should mention fifth grade names are also in this. So if we have a fifth grader drawn, we'll act surprised and do it again for the same person later on. Gavin Parsons. Gavin Parsons, right here in the front row. All right, and for those who would like to confirm the, the truth of these, we will have these here. Our official results have been tabulated by our lawyers. Do we cheat them and how? And you're more than welcome to look at these right here. All right, we are now going to move on to our eighth grade.
before she walks off stage, I just wanted to, again, publicly thank Ms. Myers for the excellent work that she's done this year, uh, just this first part of the year. And if anyone has a job that you're aware of, an opening of a, in the band world, she's definitely interested in being employed. Um, but I know that the students probably would appreciate one more opportunity for thanking her for all that she's done for us this semester as well. So thank you, Ms. Myers. As I mentioned, our eighth graders also participated in Solon Ensemble this weekend, all of them earning one ratings or the highest ratings possible. If you were one of the eighth graders that participated this weekend, could you stand up or give us a wave? Or both. Thank you very much, eighth graders. And also just one more reminder that uh, our fruit delivery is this coming Monday from 3 o'clock to 7 o'clock. It's a one-day delivery, so if you're not able to be here from uh, between 3 and 7 on Monday, please send someone on your behalf, and we would be happy to unload that fruit. It's going to be much better in your hands than it would be sitting in a warm school overnight. So the sooner we can get it to our customers, the better. Thank you for your support with this fundraiser. We're going to finish out our first program of the evening with a piece that was made famous by Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Some of you may have heard of that group. Um, and this is a very tricky piece. It's actually a high school level piece that we give our eighth graders as a challenge. And I said, you'll never be able to do it, which I know what that really means, which is try harder. And they did. And this is uh, Christmas Eve, Sarajevo, uh, 1224.